have a, a close friendship with Ambassador Ray Flynn. It turns out that he preceded me as ambassador to the Holy See, where he did a, a fantastic job, wrote a book about his experiences, and is to me a, a, an inspiration because of the principles that, that Ray espouses. And it, it doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, what's important to Ray Flynn is what, what you stand for and your value system and your integrity. And he, he sticks with that steadfastly, often uh, at, at, at personal expense, really, because of the uh, criticism that, that he gets in, in this tough, rum, you know, rough and tumble world of, of partisan politics. And uh, Ray stands up for the truth, and he stands up for the church. And uh, it's, been, it's just been one of the joys of my life uh, to get to know uh, my good friend Ray Flynn. And it's now uh, my honor to introduce to you our honoree ambassador, mayor, good college basketball player, Ray Flynn. Raven. This is a great honor to be among all you here this evening. Um, I, I just think that this is, uh, you know, when I was mayor of Boston, if you don't mind me saying this, I was kind of a streetwise mayor, streetwise Irish Catholic, Democratic politician. And anybody who came to me with a favor or a request, I was always there to help them. And uh, whether it's getting people uh, back on their feet or whatever it would be, mostly immigrant people, I was always try to be there. That was my, my philosophy. And, uh, and then now, all of a sudden, I'm the United States ambassador. And you wouldn't believe the number of people from Boston and across the country who were familiar with my background and picked up the phone or sent a letter and expected me now as the United States ambassador to the Vatican to be the same kind of personality that I was as mayor. In other words, what they were looking for was not a job. They were looking for an appointment to sit down with John Paul II and have a conversation with him. And I got to be able to help a lot of people, and I saw in a lot of incredible people who just absolutely admired this man, Carol Wojtyla. And this was the, literally the highlight of their life. I was born in a Polish community in South Boston. I met Carol Wojtyla in September of 1969, so I knew him fairly well. And for me to be able to expedite and facilitate uh, these simple people to be able to meet with John Paul II was just the greatest accomplishment, the greatest thrill of my life. So to be able to receive this award because here's what I think about this museum. Not all these people that I represented as mayor that you know from the neighborhoods of America are going to be able to go to the Vatican. But if you get the Vatican treasures and you bring them to the United States, maybe they'll be able to participate and experience some of those great, those great treasures. So, Christina, this is very, very important, what you're doing, the committee is doing. You're bringing the culture and the tradition of the Vatican that Jimmy Nicholson and I were lucky to experience and you're bringing it right here to the United States so all of us can experience. And that's really what it's all about. So to the patrons here of this effort, uh, I just want to salute you, my dear friend here from Raytheon, the greatest corporate citizen of Massachusetts history, to be able to bring, to be able to support this effort you're doing more than anything you could possibly imagine. People need this treasure, and they need to be part of it. And in a small way, I'm so pleased 
to be able to accept this little bit of award, and I hope that we can come back here again and more and more and more Americans, Mr. Ambassador to Italy, more and more Americans can share in this unique treasure of Catholicism, Italian art, right here in the United States, Washington, D.C. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good evening, uh, excellencies, dignitaries, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. I'm very honored to have been invited by the board of directors of the museum to present the award of an environmental award for leadership this year to Mr. Trammell Crow from Dallas. And he deserves it more than anybody because he has single-handedly, through his leadership and through his stewardship, created the largest platform to bring together private sector, government, civil society, and the public at large to bring consciousness to the world and solutions for the environment. And it's called Earth Day Texas. Regretfully and unfortunately, a few hours ago, right after we had lunch with him, he was called back to Dallas because his dear mother is deadly sick and he had to leave just before all of us arrived here. So um, I will take the liberty to accept this uh, wonderful award so deservedly for him on his behalf. Um, if I may receive it. Thank you for yes. taking this on behalf of Trammell Crow. Yes, I, re I accept this on... Thank you so much for your generous applause, and if I may add a private note uh, in your hearts to whenever it's convenient to you that all of us keep one prayer tonight or tomorrow for a speedy recovery for his dear mother who needs our prayers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Johan. It's a pleasure to have you here again. I have the distinct pleasure now to bring to the ambassador here in Italy one of his most famous families and a dear friend of ours, Prince Lorenzo de' Medici. Prince Lorenzo of the Medici family is an original descendant of the famous Medici dynasty. They are mostly known for their funding of the unique renaissance of Europe. The family has supported the and the, the, uh, the most famous artists in the world, including Leonardo da Vinci, Christopher Columbus, and many others. The Medici dynasty is world famous, and the prince is carrying on this family dynasty tradition by supporting the arts, currently with the Lorenzo de Medici Art Gallery to support young art artists. Lorenzo established the art gallery to support young artists with creative projects that would typically not have access to. Uh, I thank the ambassador and the wife for the welcome because it's always nice to be in an Italian environment and have Italian food. And the waiters were speaking with me in Italian, so I was very emotional that they asked me water in Italian. <laughs> so anyway, um, you will, uh, of course, I have to make a little bit of bio about me and about my family. Um, I'm sure many of you know the Medici family. Uh, the Medici family was a merchant family, very, very old, that was starting their, uh, let's say, their uh, business with the trade of the orange, much earlier than the time of the Renaissance time. They were smart enough to understand that uh, um, in the market you have to adapt and change, so they went uh, to uh, the trading of the silk. So they were the first uh, family who colorated the silk and became very wealthy. At that point, uh, they understood that for uh, having a trade, you need a bank, and they opened the Bank Medici, or Banco Medici. Uh, they were the first family who invented the way that uh, if you have to bring money from one side to another, you can maybe be robbed. So they create the promise of payment with the modern check. And uh, at the time, they had a uh, different venture, and they sent uh, uh, the Medici family all over Europe, all over Italy. And uh, my family, uh, Medici, who I personally belong, belongs to a little town called Martirano in the south of Italy, in the region of Calabria. The Medici were the biggest uh, silk uh, um, uh, company in Calabria in the 1400s. 
Um, in the town of Martirano, uh, the Medici created, uh, um, of course, a castle, and at the same time, because they were very Catholic, they had uh, un vescovato, where there was a bishop. And uh, the first bishop of uh, Jerusalem was from Martirano. So growing in a little town where the school uh, is called with the name of your ancestor, where the streets are called with the name of your ancestor, of course, uh, and my father gave me the name of Lorenzo, to me, I, sh I was obliged to learn the story of my family. <laughs> and um, my father did not allow me to have uh, video games or computer, but only old book. And, so, uh, and at the same time, uh, have the opportunity to see paintings. Uh, of course, I was lucky enough to have uh, some of the famous uh, uh, masterpiece art of the Renaissance time. So I grew up uh, in a Catholic family and with the art. And this is why I bring it with me, this love. Um, through the journey of my life, I was, uh, my mother is Polish, from a Polish family. And uh, to be close to my grandmother Polish, I had to pass uh, during the communist time, some time in Poland, where for a Catholic, was unfortunately not possible to be free to pray and to go to the mass. So we had to go with my grandmother and my grandfather, who was supporter there, secretly uh, during the snow. So I was uh, young, but I remember very well. And I always wanted one day to give opportunity to other people to don't experience the same things that as a Catholic, as a growing Catholic, I have experienced when I was young. And so uh, I'm very happy to be in Washington today and to be part of this project because through the art, new generation will ask themselves maybe why Michelangelo was doing the Pietà, what was in his inspiration in that moment. And we all look in a modern way a movie and uh, we analyze the movie. Uh, the art was for the De Medici family and for the Renaissance a way of being uh, kind of advertising of the modern time. The generation will understand that if you give a story or you tell them how to look a piece of art, and in this case, many Americans don't have a possibility to go overseas to see the beauty of the Italian. So if we can bring here in Washington DC the possibility to see some of the art that we, Italy, are lucky to uh, have, I'm sure that uh, many people will start uh, asking why Michelangelo creates such a beauty in the eyes of uh, Mary. And uh, we are giving back something to my ancestor and to our culture and um, I would love to bring uh, a present to them from Rome. Um, I am a um, Gran Priore, Great Magister of a Catholic Order in Rome with a beautiful church called San Silvestro Quirinale. San Silvestro Quirinale is a church where Michelangelo was spending the evening thinking how to create some of his masterpiece. And um, as a modern uh, knight, people will ask me, sometimes they ask me, what does it mean be a knight in the modern time? Being knights in the modern time means uh, we don't have more the sword as we were having at that time to defend our religion, but today we still have people in Africa mostly that don't have opportunity to be free to pray in the way other religions have. So I think that uh, little support to eventually save the African church, this is a way I'm uh, creating now a new project, maybe putting cameras or instruments that people can see what really a lot of Catholic people uh, cannot be free to pray will be my next uh, focus project and with my Knights Order. And I would love to invite Timothy Barton here to award him with uh, um, an Academy of my Knights Order because of his support for the museum and so for the Catholic culture and art. And uh, I, th this is uh, for you. Oh, thank you. Exactly. Thank you And uh, of course, as a modern, uh, modern knight uh, in uh, our order, there is no difference between men and women. Because I think uh, uh, that women are much more intelligent than men. And so uh, I think that we should learn from women. And uh, in my order, uh, women and men, we sit together. There is no, nobody who is more important than the other. And we decide what to do when we meet. And we meet once a month. We have, of course, our priest who is telling us how to behave better, how to see that the world has to be seen by, without envy and try to understand that the value that our grand grandfather and our pope in this moment, uh, the great pope is giving help to us because he is very, very, he's one of the, of the people who is teaching to the people how to be 
really uh, nice in value, and so we're very helpful for uh, the Holy Father. And I want to uh, give as well uh, a night uh, to Cristina as a Knights of the Order of San Martin from Rome. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much for all of you and to support uh, the museum. Grazie.